Good morning. If you have decided to study to become a professional hypnotherapist, continue with us in this beautiful project of study and learning. Hypnosis is a powerful technique with which you will be able to help and improve the quality of life of a great number of your future patients. Remember, study the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes on clinical hypnosis with share of free ebooks. Hypnosis as a method to stop smoking. You can start smoking for many reasons, but in all cases, as the years go by, strong conditioned responses to tobacco are created in the depth of the mind, subconscious and unconscious. By repeating certain behaviors every day for years, they become fixed in the deepest part of the mind, in such a way that lighting a cigarette and smoking, it becomes an automatic gesture after certain situations, a coffee, television, conversation, etc. On the other hand, the deep mind always dominates over the conscious. We are the product of the images we have of ourselves. And this self-concept, this self-image is forged and remains in the subconscious. The smoker visualizes himself as a smoker. He has the self-image along with the smoking habit. If you have tried several times to quit smoking without success, then your self-image is even more deteriorated. Deep in the mind there is a concept of failure and unwillingness to achieve what you want to achieve. This is difficult for the conscience to accept, hence the smoker is in the habit of saying, I smoke because I want to, when I want to quit. As long as these concepts and images remain in the deep mind, it will be very difficult to stop smoking, unless some violent event happens, such as serious illness, a strong drawing, or some other sign of death. But of course, the ideal is not to have to wait for this to happen before reacting. It may even be too late by that time. Quitting or not quitting smoking has little to do with willpower, because habits and conditioned reflexes have been formed in the mind and as long as they are there, they are very difficult to overcome. Besides, nicotine is addictive. It may seem to you that you have not become addicted, but that is the truth. Nicotine produces addiction. So, it is not a matter of willpower. No doubt you have achieved many things in life. You have achieved several goals and you have overcome yourself in many aspects, thanks to your real power. But smoking, it is a different thing. Hence, you can try, and maybe you have tried many methods to quit smoking, and it is possible that you will relapse after quitting for a while. It is because you have been missing an essential component, acting deep inside your mind where the old habits are, the old conditioning and the harmful conditioned reflexes nurtured over the years. There are two techniques that allow you to get to the bottom of your mind and change this internal program. Hypnosis and subliminal messages. Either of the two methods is a very important complement to quit smoking. Hypnosis as the only method does not eliminate the smoking habit in all people, but combined with other systems. It usually takes several sessions to achieve this. However, 
a very effective solution is self-hypnosis. Because in this case, it does not depend on any other person and you can repeat a session as many times as you need. Also, if you have the concept that hypnosis is the mastery of one mind over another, with a recording there is no mind taking over your mind. The recording simply leads you or mind to achieve it. It is an absolutely natural method, fast and safe. After a short time the tobacco stops being liked, so that you stop effortlessly. Because it is no longer of interest, it is not liked and is not necessary. The recording also reinforces tranquility, serenity, security, perseverance and perseverance and constancy in oneself. Conditioned responses or reflexes. From so much repetition of a set of action, these are related to each other at the level of automatism, so that one presents itself and provokes another. There are many situations in your life that provoke an automatic response to smoking. Here are some examples. What in smoking cessation methods? There are several methods to combat smoking and all of them are listed in this book. We have, for example, nicotine patches, chewing gum, medication, psychological treatments, behavioral methods, hypnosis, family support. The success rates are highly variable because they depend on several factors. Amount of tobacco consumed, time elapsed, degree of decision to quit smoking, environment in which the smoker lives, age, etc. In general terms, the success rate of each treatment can be estimated at 30% for each treatment separately. However, a combined therapy is enhanced and the results are very high. That is to say, one method alone may not work for you, but if you apply more than one, then your chances of success are great. Enjoy your achievements and appreciate all that you are gaining. Quitting smoking is not all about difficulties. It is true that for a few days you will have to be alert not to turn back, that you will have to face difficult situations, that you will experience a certain feeling of loss, of emptiness, for having distanced yourself from something that has been with you for a long time. Improvements in your health that you are already beginning to enjoy. After 20 minutes without smoking, your blood pressure recovers and your heart rate returns to normal. Blood circulation in your legs starts to improve. After 8 hours of abstinence, your blood oxygen levels return to normal. From that moment on, the risk of a heart attack starts to decrease. If you had a smoking-related illness, your chances of recovery increase from now on. In a couple of days, you have already eliminated nicotine from your body. You recover some of your previously atrophied sensory abilities. You notice immediate improvements in your senses of taste and smell. On the third day, you notice that you can breathe better due to the relaxation of the bronchial circuits. As a result, you feel better and more energetic. After three weeks, coughing decreases or disappears. The lungs work better and also the blood circulation has improved noticeably. After two months, you have more energy and agility. 
you experience the satisfaction of having regained control of a part of your life that was previously dependent on tobacco. After three months, your lungs are functioning normally. After one year, the risk of sudden death from a heart attack is halved. Within 10 years, the risk of having a heart attack or myocardial infraction is equal to that of people who have never smoked. The risk of lung cancer has halved. In addition, you respect the right of those around you to breathe clean air. You set a positive example for your children. You have the satisfaction of having regained control of a part of your life that was previously dependent on tobacco. You have gained in health. Your self-esteem is much higher. You also gain money. Now that you are no longer buying tobacco, you are starting to be able to dispose of the money you are spending on cigarettes for other things. Calculate your savings from now on and think about dedicating this money to give yourself a nice present. A perfume, some flowers, a DVD, a bicycle, a book. If you're interested to continue learning about clinical hypnosis, watch our next video. 10 principles to consolidate the change. Remember to study the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes about clinical hypnosis with several free ebooks as well. If you have questions, ask them in the comments area. On this topic and many others, we'll talk about in the channel and in the videos that we'll publish. So, if you're interested, don't miss our next videos. Thank you very much.